In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an oriented image layer that you created in ArcGIS Desktop Pro. We're going to create an ArcGIS instant app. And to get started, we're going to create a, a map in ArcGIS Online. So we're going to go ahead and get the map set up. I'm going to quickly use a service URL to add a um, satellite base map just so we can contextualize the imagery. Of course, like with any map, you can add as many layers as you want, uh, GIS data, satellite imagery, drone imagery, uh, you name it. Uh, but for the sake of this, I'm just quickly going to add um, that layer. And then here I'm just uh, searching for the layer I created and uploaded through desktop uh, into ArcGIS Online that contains all of the street view imagery. Um, those green lines are actually all small dots. I would say you can spend more time, of course, on this map layer and um, make it look a lot more polished. Uh, but for the purposes of this uh, video, I'm just quickly going to go through and um, create this map real fast. Um, of course, the categories would be whatever you need them to be as you manage your projects. And we have went ahead and saved it. So we've got that map. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the Instant Apps feature here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the map I just made. Um, So we're gonna go ahead and select a template. Um, one of the most useful templates for the oriented imagery is sidebar. And I'm just gonna add a tag for my own purposes here. All right, once we're inside of the configuration screen for the instant app, we're gonna go ahead and turn off Express. This will give us access to a couple of options that will help us create a, a better experience for the users. Um, I'm turning off the header there. You can keep that on. You can modify that however you like. And turning on the oriented imagery portion of this. And then I'm going to select which panel to open when we start the instant app, which is important. We want that oriented imagery. Um, so for the layout, this is important. I'm going to go ahead and change that panel size to large since imagery is the primary objective of this instant app, we want to be able to expand that as large as the ArcGIS online instant app will allow us. So large is the best way to do that. And again, I'm back just to highlighting some of these things, not super important, um, but they allow you to uh, polish your instant app even further, you know, adding uh, a sort of a start screen, that splash screen, if you will, or perhaps a, uh, a user confirmation window, um, publishing the application and changing the share settings. Um, when I change the share settings, I'm gonna set it to public. Of course, you can change it um, based on your normal ArcGIS share settings. So either people inside your own organization can see it, only you can, or everyone can. And so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that link which makes it easy, or just launch it. And when I launch it, you can see the instant app. The layer pops up there for all the different dots. And once I click on the screen, a little red X will appear showing where I clicked and the nearest panorama will open. I'm gonna go ahead and deselect additional cameras and additional footprints. Um, those blue overlays add a little bit of noise to the screen, uh, in my opinion, although they can be useful in certain circumstances, um, 
showing additional cameras or additional footprints might you know, give you better awareness if you didn't have quite the same density of imagery as we have in this example. Um, and then uh, when you zoom in, you'll notice that red cone on the map uh, begins to narrow, indicating that your, your field of view is narrowing as you zoom further in. But really that's it. Um, all the green dots are showing up. You're clicking on a map and bada bing bada boom.